Hey guys, my name is Kaylee and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to talk about my Gel Polish Pro Kit by Red Carpet Manicure. And um, I'll get started right away. Uh, I'll start with my nail history, like it's a huge thing. Um, it's a huge story. And I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so I have really crappy nails. I've gone really thin, bendy nails that have multiple layers that just shed off all the time uh, on every nail. It's not just one. Um, yeah, the layering I'm pretty sure has to do with the cleaning stuff that I use at work because it hasn't happened before this bad to any degree. Uh, the bendiness, always. I've always had really thin nails. Um, what else? There's others. Oh, and I now am starting to develop fridges on my nails. Yay! So I've tried everything I've tried. And I think this is another reason why my nails have gotten worse is because I've been trying stupid stuff. Um, I've used the Nail Teaks one that everyone said, oh, it heals every problem. Get this. And so I do $20. It's this big. I get it nothing it just left like a top coat on my nails and then i couldn't put nail polish on it because it was kind of greasy and it's like well when when am, am i just supposed to wear this for the rest of my life do i never get to wear nail polish again and it doesn't work anyway so what's the point so don't get that one don't get if you have my problems at least don't get uh the sc protein thinking that that's going to do anything for you because it's not uh, i've gotten the opi one i think it's like i forget what it's called but it's like just fixes your nails gotten the Mavala uh, nail strengthener with formaldehyde because that's the one that actually like strengthens your nails but it only works for so long and then it doesn't do it anymore and it's bad for you and it's a carcinogen so just don't get it just don't um, all of these things have cost like 20 bucks too so I've wasted so much money and then I got this and it, yeah it was $89 for the kit but you get your color and then you have your UV light you have the remover, you have the cleanser, which is like, takes off the, um, what, after you finish them, they're kind of, they feel kind of sticky. You wipe that on there, kind of like a toner, like for your face kind of thing. It's kind of like the same consistency and it just takes it off and then your nails are like glossy and nice and they're not sticky anymore. I'm not really sure. They have prep, that's like an alcohol, so, um, your nails moisture leaves so it won't like interrupt, the natural oils on your nails won't interrupt with the, um, polish sticking to your nail. Uh, you have base coat, top coat, and cuticle oil as well. So you get a lot of stuff for that price considering like one of these is like 10 bucks or 11 bucks at the store. So I got all of those and then I also, because I don't know, red is the most unforgiving color. If you suck at doing nails, red is the worst color to use because you can see every flaw that you did while painting. So note to self, don't get it if you suck at painting nails. Don't start off with red until you've had some practice. So I didn't want to because I'm not that great. I'm not a professional, to say the least. Um, so I got this pink one here. And yeah, you can kind of see my nails here. I got glue on my hands from like crafting. So I'm sorry, but yeah, I got this one. And here, this one doesn't have glue. You can kind of see like the glossiness. It's, I did mine kind of like too thick. One of the things that I learned this application was when they say a thin layer, they mean a thin layer. So I followed all the directions. I did all the things that it told me to do. It wasn't hard. It took just about as long as painting my nails normally because it only took 45 seconds each time to dry them. You just put them in and you push the button and yeah. So yeah, moving on to that. Uh, this is the LED light or UV light or whatever you like to say. Um, you just like put it on your table like this and then it has a button here and you push it and it goes blue and you put your fingers in there and it dries your nails in 45 seconds. So um, I think it just turns on for 45 seconds because that's pretty much what I did. So I just turned it on, put my nails in and waited for it to turn off and it worked. So yeah, follow all the steps, did everything right. I'm happy with it so far. Um, I've had gel manicures before that weren't even this nice at the salon so really have no complaints so far um with my nails being as bad as they are though i when i have gotten gel nails in the past they claim that it'll last about two weeks but for me it lasts like five days um another thing about gel nails is i'm not excited to take off 
the gel. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm not going to complain about this brand because I'm not sure yet. But when I did try to take it off last time from the salon, I ended up taking just a knife and like scratching it off my nails, which is not good for you. Um, yeah, um, so verdict, I guess. Verdict on this stuff. I'm hoping that it'll last more than a day because usually with regular nail polish, it'll last me about five hours before I get all those uh, layers that just want to peel off. Um, I also a plus with the gel nails is that it's thick enough that so that even though I have an uneven nail surface that I'm putting it on, you can't tell that there's layers underneath. So it does have a nice smooth finish. Um, they feel nice, like really glossy, like you don't have any, like not no texture, just like gloss. Um, so I'm hoping that it will like cover and protect my nail so that I could at least grow them out. Like even if they're not nice underneath, maybe I'll be able to just keep them going. Um, I'll probably do another review later just to like give you an update on how like I have to take it off and if I recommend getting it like after the taking it off and stuff. But so far I'm happy with the investment because it will probably be about four visits to the salon, like a cheapy salon. And every time that I've ever been to a cheapy salon, I've either like had to wait for like half an hour just sitting there with no one telling me what's going on or they ask me what grade I'm in <laughs> when I'm 25 um, or they just expect me not to know what they're doing or they'll insult me like saying that I have too many cuticles or like I, I always have bad experiences with going to salons and I'm scared of them now so I'm really happy that I'll be able to do this myself and yeah i'll keep you updated and thank you for watching my review i hope this helped you and i hope you got something out of it and if you want to be friends i'm online i have a tumblr instagram all that stuff i'll put it down below if you want to say hi to me and thank you for watching and subscribe if you like bye